Mr. Lobby Afrans and compatriot, our goal is the freedom of the motherland. Our goal is not celebrations and deification of individuals and appropriation of the collective struggle of our people by an individual or a group of individuals or an organization. The Biafran struggle is for the freedom of the collectivity of all Biafrans. And as such, whatever abuse, whatever name calling, I am not bothered. I know that at the end of the day, there will either victory or death. Either we win or we die. But we have to clear some misconceptions. We have to clear some misconception. I repeat, we have to clear some misconception. These misconceptions are that people who are fighting for freedom does not get involved in political participation. I do not belong to any of the major political party of PDP or APC. I don't. But I know that General Muhammad Buhari is an enemy of our people. And he has so said it, he has so demonstrated it, he has killed our people who are harmless, who have not taken up arms to attack or kill or maim any Nigerian. Why he has severally shown and set free those who are daily killing his own kind and our people. He has, he's setting them free, he's giving them money, billions of money that comes from our land. Let us come to the very touchy issue of electoral boycott. It is standing history on its head for anybody to say that we should boycott election because it goes on in other places. It's a lie. In Catalan today, the pro-Catalan independent party is contesting election even after the Spanish, the imperial Spanish government had dissolved parliament, dissolved government, cancelled the election, they still contested and they won the election and they're in power. The pro independent Scottish party is contesting the election. They continue to contest the election and control the government of Scotland. The pro independent High, uh, Northern Highland party, the uh, Irish Republican Army and its political wing, the Sinn Féin, is contesting election. Uh, PLO, Fatah, Islamic Jihad, Hamas, who are pro-independent uh, parties or organization in Palestine, they are contesting elections. Tell us where. Even FARC, FARC in Colombia, they are participating in the election today. So tell us where those who involved. How can we give resources to empower the hands of the enemies of our struggle? I am not from Anambra State. But if we are going to vote in Anambra State, Ibano will not be there. Ibano is an enemy of our people. Today, he has some alliance with General Muhammad Buhari or our... Or oh, is double that is in Asso Rock. Because I do not believe that the man in Asso Rock is General Muhammad Buhari. I don't believe that. So when people tell us the truth, we don't want to accept. We want to impose our will, which is not working. Which is anti our people. We frighten our people, but we run away from the soldiers. We run away from the occupation forces. We run away from the police. Why would we do that? Who are we deceiving? Finally, no outsider can give us freedom. None. No outsider can give us freedom. They have not done it anywhere. It is we. With our show of valor and commitment that can give ourselves freedom. Nobody can give us freedom. And it is not by wishful thinking. It is not by dividing us. 
our big brother Rafa Wazuke is doing very well. I know him. He's in this struggle. Nobody has bribed him. I have not spoken to Rafa Wazuke for the past three months. He's alive. I have not spoken to him, but I know him. I stood trial with him. I was arrested, put under SSS uh, underground cell. And after that, we were in trial. I was in detention underground 22 months, 10 days. I've been arrested several times. He has gone through all these things for the cause of our people. We are not fighting for ourselves. We are fighting for the collectivity of our people and generation yet unborn. Biafra belongs to all of us. Let no individual, group of individual or organization appropriate the totality of our struggle to themselves.